First barrage of bullets. We begin tonight with a luxury car riddled with bullet holes. A driver somehow survives after he was shot at 60 times. Thanks for joining us here at 10. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. We're also streaming live right now on CBS News Sacramento. The shooting happened Friday on Hood Franklin Road in Sacramento County along a remote stretch southwest of Elk Grove. Let's get to CBS 13's Melina Jones. She's there with the search for the gunman and the investigation into a possible motive into this, Valina. That's right. The victim was driving right down here on this dark road when it ended up, the SUV ended up right here and that gunfire started. I spoke to neighbors who say after they heard those final shots, they heard a car speed away. <sighs> and it was just over here? A drive-by shooting targeting another driver. I think they're looking for somebody running, possibly a gunshot victim. The gunfire shocking neighbor Connie Turnis in the small town of Hood. I can't even fathom that that would happen around here. This is pretty like quiet of an area, somewhat isolated even from stuff like that. Locals Darcy and Lance Seppi live on a property nearby and heard the gunfire. I started hearing shots, you know. Keep the head down and hope the bullets don't come through the house. Sacramento County Sheriff investigators say this Land Rover riddled with more than 20 bullet holes was driving on Hood Franklin Road Friday night when another car drove beside the driver, forcing him off the main road and started shooting. It is stunning that that victim walked away to see another day. The victim crawled over the passenger side and escaped into an open field to call police taking shots to the stomach and back. Investigators are searching into if the individuals knew each other. There could be many things here. Perhaps it was an unknown road rage incident where that driver had done something that offended the other driver. I, I don't think the public has to worry about some uh, crazed person just randomly shooting at people. A shocking shooting near this small town of around 300 people. I hate to see it, I really do. I Leaving neighbors questioning the motive. I can't wrap my head around uh, who would do that. What is the reason in the middle of the night shooting at somebody that many times? Investigators found more than 60 gun shell casings throughout this area. They do not believe this was gang related and are still working to determine a suspect description and a motive. Anyone with information is asked to contact the sheriff's office.